Hi everyone, and welcome to the final episode of season one of my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from my indie productions, and in today's closing episode, I will be reviewing two feature films produced by the Mahal brothers of the Mahal Empire, both directed by Rolf Kanevsky and co-written by Rolf and the Mahal brothers, Michael and Sonny Mahal. Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing your projects with our show. <laughs> Let's jump right to it. The first film to be reviewed is 2017's horror comedy, Bus Party to Hell. Darby, portrayed by none other than Tara Reid, is an out-of-place party girl we see frantically running through the Nevada desert, desperately trying to avoid a grave danger she encountered earlier. As Darby's predicament serves as ominous exposition for what lies in store, we follow a group of fun-seeking partygoers who get together in a luxurious bus in Las Vegas that is meant to take them to Burning Man Festival in Black Rock City, Nevada. Due to some delay, their bus driver, Joan, played by Sadie Katz, opts to take them through the scenic route in order to save time. Things go horrifically and hilariously wrong when the bus gets stranded in the middle of the desert with its driver Joan missing as our group come to a violent realization that the fun is over as a devil-worshipping cult of bloodthirsty, half-naked, snake-loving goth maniacs crowd the bus and begin killing off anything that moves while prepping for some kind of dark ceremony. But I'm not the leader. I'm just a servant of Joseph. As the group is confined to the under siege vehicle, they must devise a plan to get mobile and fast. Alas, their missing driver had the keys on her. It feels that Rolf and the Mahal brothers had fun with this one. This film is filled with gore, sex, and supernatural forces. Basically, everything one should look for in a party. No? Oh my god! <laughs> I did find some issues with story and scene structure, but those can't really be held against the film's creators because of the fun and lighthearted nature of the film. Having said that, it was extremely impressive for any film, let alone an indie production, to have so many characters and participants involved. We ended hell. <laughs> We have multiple men and women wearing elaborate costumes, heavy makeup, and body art. We have snakes and other creepy creatures in frame. Complicated practical and makeup effects and more. Bus Party to Hell gets a 7 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. Keep in mind, though the film is a horror comedy, it's not for everyone. It's pretty packed with gore and nudity. Hey, I'm not complaining, but viewer discretion is advised. Go check it out for yourself and let us know what you think. Links for streaming or purchase below. Next up is Rolf and the Mahal Brothers' upcoming 2019 horror, Art of the Dead. The Wilsons, a wealthy and unsuspecting family, purchase a set of seven rare paintings at an auction that are said to each represent one of the seven deadly sins in Christian belief. Dylan Wilson, played by Lucas Hassel, consults with his wife Gina, Jessica Morris, before placing the winning bid on the paintings, much to the delight of the auction's curator, played by Tara Reid. Little do they know, there's a lot more than skillfully expressed oil-painted themes on the canvas of their new exciting art pieces, as these particular paintings carry a grave evil within them. Prior to being displayed at auction and acquired by the Wilsons, we get to see the aftermath of the disaster the paintings brought forth in the home of one Douglas Winter, played by none other than Richard Grieco. Richie! Elizabeth! Come see what I got! So raw, so primal. Slowly but surely, the seven conduits of evil wreak havoc at the Wilsons' household and poison the minds of Dylan, Gina, and their children. Question remains, will they be able to break free from the forces that hold them before it is too late? Seven paintings, seven sins, all represented by Anna. In comparison to Bus Party to Hell, Art of the Dead has a much more serious tone and multi-layered plot, led by a deeper and clearly more cultivated premise. This time the horror originates from Catholic theology. I've tracked these paintings for years, and every owner that has had them in his or her possession 
has disappeared or worse. If thy eye offends thee. As the sins are numbering seven, Rolf and the Mahal brothers diligently build subplots that enrich the entire film. And as I've already seen in their work, they fearlessly incorporate multiple characters and participants in a variety of locations and sequences. Keep in mind, this is still a tight budget indie production, but our guys show remarkable capabilities yet again. Production value is fairly high by any standard. Set design, practical makeup, and special effects, cinematography all wonderfully executed. The only issues, again, I had a problem with have to do with story and scene structure, but there's definitely a nurtured and evolving skill present. I can't wait to see what comes from these guys next. Art of the Dead gets a 7.5 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. The film is set to be officially released during early 2019, so stay tuned for updates. The Mahal brothers are currently hard at work raising funds for their upcoming sci-fi thriller, Attack of the Unknown. Starring Richard Grieco, and this time with Brandon Slagle at the helm as director and co-writer along with Michael and Sonny Mahal. To all you sci-fi indie film enthusiasts, go support indie film and help bring this amazing new project to life. Link to the film's Indiegogo campaign below. Please hurry as there are merely three days left to the campaign as for when this episode airs. We at Mainly Productions wish the Mahal Brothers best of luck and can't wait to see the finished result of their new project. So that completes 35 wonderful weeks of reviews where I got to sit here and talk about independent films by independent hardworking filmmakers from around the world. I thank you all for tuning in from the bottom of my heart as it is tremendously important that we all keep getting the word out on indie projects so we can all keep making them. Among other projects, we are currently planning an awesome season two, so keep an eye out for further updates. Until next time, keep supporting indie film. My name is Asaf Angel. I thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog. I'll see you next season.